I got it. Pass it over here. Come on, let's go, let's go. Yeah! No, give it to me. Here, I'm over here. Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> Go fast! Go, Charlie! Yeah! Oh, oh. Yeah! 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 I can't believe it! I did it! I did it! I scored a goal all by myself! <laughs> Your pants ripped fast. <laughs> huh? I ripped my pants? Oh no. <laughs> so you can get to the classroom. Miss Carrington will know what to do. There, this covers everything. That was a pretty amazing goal you made, Vaz. I guess, but everyone was laughing at me. Oh, don't worry, Vaz. Things like this happen to everyone. Oh, no, no, You should have seen it, Miss Carrington. It was so funny when Vaz ripped his pants. <laughs> Perhaps you should consider if Vaz thought it was funny. Oh. But how could you not think it was funny, Vaz? Because I was embarrassed. And we all know how it feels to do something embarrassing. Not me. Nothing like that has ever happened to me. And I'm sure nothing like that has ever happened to you, Miss Carrington. <laughs> oh, yes, it has. Many times. I remember one time, the first time I ever had to perform in front of a group of people. I was in high school, and I entered the Super Teen Talent Contest. Oh my gosh, I am like so totally nervous. I totally hope I win. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Debbie Carrington. We shouldn't laugh. It's okay. It was funny. I mean, it was totally embarrassing then, but I can laugh about it now. Do you think I'll be able to laugh about my ripped pants someday? I'm pretty sure you will. Oh, Miss Carrington. I can't believe that really happened to you. Oh, I don't know. I'll bet embarrassing things have happened to most everyone in this class. Yes, Dan? One morning, I woke up really late and got dressed so fast that I accidentally put on my sister's pink flowered sneakers instead of my own shoes. I felt really silly at first, but by the end of the day, I was laughing about it with everyone else. You'll probably be laughing about your ripped pants by the end of the day too, Vaz. Maybe. Whoa. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clifford! Clifford! That was a funny story Miss Carrington told us about losing her hair. <laughs> yeah, almost as funny as Baz ripping his pants. <laughs> Cheddar? Maybe I'll be able to laugh about it tomorrow, Cheddar. But today, I still don't think it's funny. I'm sorry, Baz, but you have to admit it was pretty amusing. It's just that nothing like that has ever happened to me. Oh, it will, Jetta. It happens to everyone sooner or later. It happened to me last year. It was pajama day, when we all get to wear our pajamas to school for fun. Oh, no! <laughs> Emily Elizabeth, why isn't anyone wearing their pajamas? Today is a pajama day, Charlie. Tomorrow is. Tomorrow? <laughs> now that was embarrassing. I remember that day. You wanted to spend the whole morning hiding in the bathroom. Yeah. Then I looked in the mirror and saw how funny I really did look. No wonder everyone was laughing. Oh, I'd never do something like that. You never know, Jetta. Come on, you guys. Let's go over to the bakery and get a snack. Okay, great. <laughs> what about you, Emily Elizabeth? Have you ever been embarrassed? Oh, lots of times. But the one I remember the most was last year. My grandpa gave me a pack of my very favorite bubble gum. It made the hugest bubbles. Oh no! Mom! Do you really have to cut it? I'm sorry, Emily Elizabeth. I just don't know any other way. so short and tomorrow's picture day at school it was awful then but now I look at that picture and it cracks me up <laughs> just hearing about it makes me laugh <laughs> You can say things like that happen to everyone, but I'm never going to let it happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Of course not, Jetta. This hot chocolate is great. May I have some more, please? Why, of course you can, sir. Sir? <laughs> <laughs> what does he mean? <laughs> I don't know, sir. Oh my gosh, a mustache! <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not funny. We're sorry, Jetta. But it is kind of funny. And it can happen to anyone. Besides, I think we look pretty good like this. Day-old donuts, my favorite. I think we all look pretty silly. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pretty good sport, Jetta. You laughed at yourself really fast. Well, a whipped cream mustache isn't nearly as embarrassing as ripping your pants. Yeah, but it's just as funny. <laughs> <laughs> What is, what is that? Whoa. It's Clifford! <laughs> How did he do that? Don't worry, 
Hey, Clifford, embarrassing things happen to everyone. Even me. <laughs> and me. And me. And me. Story, don't you? Woof, woof. <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Clean Beach. One sunny day, Speckle and his friends were on their way to the beach, laughing and chatting about all the fun things they were going to do when they got there. But when they arrived, they had a sad surprise. The beach was covered with litter, not clean like a beach should be. Reba, Darnell, Luna, Ravi, and Speckle couldn't imagine playing on a beach like that. Then Speckle said they could if they just took a few minutes to clean it up. Speckle used his beach bag to collect cans. Ravi, Darnell, and Luna picked up all the empty boxes and candy wrappers. And Reba used her shovel and pail to collect bits of stray paper. Before they knew it, the beach was just like it should be. Clean and beautiful and ready for them to play on together. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Excellent, son. Thanks, Dad. Wait till you see Emily. She's really great. I think you want to go the other way, Vas. <laughs> you almost made it that time. I've been practicing just like Emily Elizabeth told me to. I read this book with all kinds of skating tips from professionals. I can't wait to show her what I've learned. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't have to wait, because here she is. Whoa, whoa. Thanks for the ride, Clifford. With you and my lucky stone, it's going to be a great day for skating. Hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. Hi, Clifford. Hi, Clifford. Whoa, whoa. Hi, Emily Elizabeth. Hi, Emily. You want me to show you guys what Clifford and I have been practicing? Yeah, sure. Looks great. And there 
Here's the quarter pipe. Race you to it. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Someday, I'm gonna skate as well as Emily Elizabeth. Whoa, whoa. Catch me if you can, Charlie. I can. Wow, you really are fast, Emily. Thanks, Clifford. You okay, Emily? Are you all right? Sure, I'm okay. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Okay, just be careful now. Thanks. Lucky for me, Clifford is here. And I have my lucky stone. <gasps> my lucky stone? It's gone! It must have fallen off somewhere. I know it's just an old painted stone, but it always brings me good luck. You mean it's a lucky charm? I know there's no such thing as real lucky charms. I just like having it with me. I know what you mean. I've got my special shirt I always wear for luck when I play soccer. Don't worry, we'll help you find it. Thanks, guys. Sorry, Emily. I wish we could have found your stone. I think we looked everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's okay. It was just an old painted stone. But thanks for looking. You want to go and skate some more? Maybe it'll make you feel better. I don't know. I've never skated without my lucky stone before. Oh, come on. You're a great skater. You don't need a lucky stone. Let's go try the wavy mounts. They're really fun. Well, okay. <laughs> cool! Down the hill, Emily Elizabeth! Elizabeth, your strap broke. That's why you fell. But my strap broke because I don't have my lucky stone. I don't think I want to skate anymore today. Ah, uh, don't let that fall bother you. It happens to everyone once in a while. It happens to me all the time. It never happened to me before until I lost my lucky stone. my lucky stone. I can't even get a drink of water without it. Oh. Hey, Clifford wants you to have a new lucky stone. It's beautiful, Clifford. Oh. <laughs> but it's a little big for me to wear on my neck chain. Mm. Oh, thanks for trying. But I'm gonna go and look for my real stone. Nice try, Clifford. Yeah, and that gives me an idea. Oh. 
Emily just thinks she needs her lucky stone. All she really needs is her confidence back. So we'll let her think we found her polka dotted stone. Ah, then afterwards when we tell her, she'll know that she doesn't need her stone to skate well. <laughs> so, what do you think? Does it look like Emily's? Great, now let's go find her. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. You found it? We sure did. You did? You found it? Oh, thank you. I feel luckier already. So, where was it? Uh, where uh, it was, uh... By that tree. That's funny. I was never over there. Maybe the wind blew it there. So, uh, now that you've got your lucky stone, you want to try the quarter pipe? Sure, I want to try it all. <laughs> 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 Look at Emily go! <laughs> go, Emily Elizabeth! charm after all. What do you mean? It's right here. Wait a minute. Hey, this isn't my lucky charm. No, it isn't. It's just a stone that Baz and Clifford and I painted. We just wanted to show you that you don't need anything to give you luck. That you're a great skater, all on your own. You're right, guys. I guess I don't need a lucky stone. I just need to believe that I can do it on my own. Woof. But I'm going to keep this new lucky stone anyway. I think it's even better than my old one. It is? Mm-hmm. Because this stone will always remind me that I have the best friends in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, T-Bone. Can we play too? I'm not playing, Cleo. You're not? What are you doing, T-Bone? I'm cleaning my doghouse. Ooh, wouldn't you rather be playing with us? Well, yes. Then let's play. Nothing's more fun than playing with your friends, but it's a good idea to be responsible and finish your work before you start to play. Woof, woof. Come on, T-Bone, hit it back. Well, no. I made a promise to myself to finish cleaning my doghouse first. Then I'll play. Okay, T-Bone, can we help? No, thanks. Are you sure? Uh-huh. This is my job. You guys keep playing. I'll be done in a minute. It feels good to finish a job you start. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be responsible. Oh, no, 
you don't. <laughs> Go fast! Go, Charlie! Yeah! so you can get to the classroom. Miss Carrington will know what to do. There, this covers everything. That was a pretty amazing goal you made, Vaz. I guess, but everyone was laughing at me. Oh, don't worry, Vaz. Things like this happen to everyone. Oh, no, 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 You should have seen it, Miss Carrington. It was so funny when Vaz ripped his pants. <laughs> Perhaps you should consider if Vaz thought it was funny. Oh. But how could you not think it was funny, Vaz? Because I was embarrassed. And we all know how it feels to do something embarrassing. Not me. Nothing like that has ever happened to me. And I'm sure nothing like that has ever happened to you, Miss Carrington. <laughs> oh, yes, it has. Many times. I remember one time, the first time I ever had to perform in front of a group of people. I was in high school, and I entered the Super Teen Talent Contest. Oh my gosh, I am like so totally nervous. I totally hope I win. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Debbie Carrington. We shouldn't laugh. <laughs> it's okay. It was funny. I mean, it was totally embarrassing then, but I can laugh about it now. Do you think I'll be able to laugh about my ripped pants someday? I'm pretty sure you will. Oh, Miss Carrington. I can't believe that really happened to you. Oh, I don't know. I'll bet embarrassing things have happened to most everyone in this class. Yes, Dan? One morning, I woke up really late and got dressed so fast that I accidentally put on my sister's pink-flowered sneakers instead of my own shoes. I felt really silly at first, but by the end of the day, I was laughing about it with everyone else. You'll probably be laughing about your ripped pants by the end of the day, too, Vaz. Maybe. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a funny story Miss Carrington told us about losing her hair. <laughs> yeah, almost as funny as Vaz ripping his pants. <laughs> Shut up. 
Maybe I'll be able to laugh about it tomorrow, Jetta. But today, I still don't think it's funny. I'm sorry, Vaz, but you have to admit it was pretty amusing. It's just that nothing like that has ever happened to me. Oh, it will, Jetta. It happens to everyone sooner or later. It happened to me last year. It was pajama day, when we all get to wear our pajamas to school for fun. Oh, no! <laughs> Emily Elizabeth, why isn't anyone wearing their pajamas? Today is a pajama day, Charlie. Tomorrow is. Tomorrow? <laughs> now that was embarrassing. I remember that day. You wanted to spend the whole morning hiding in the bathroom. Yeah. Then I looked in the mirror and saw how funny I really did look. No wonder everyone was laughing. <laughs> oh, I'd never do something like that. You never know, Jetta. Come on, you guys. Let's go over to the bakery and get a snack. Okay. Great. <laughs> What about you, Emily Elizabeth? Have you ever been embarrassed? Oh, lots of times. But the one I remember the most was last year. My grandpa gave me a pack of my very favorite bubble gum. It made the hugest bubbles. 